and welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video I am going to be reviewing Wondershare's PDF Element application which is a PDF reader and note taking app. Now thank you so much to Wondershare for sponsoring this video and without further ado let's get on to the review but before that I should point out that I'm going to be demoing everything on Samsung's Tab S7 Plus which you guys love on this channel but as well as that I'm going to be showing you guys the Windows PC version as well so stay tuned for all the demos and my review of the app um, and see if this is something for you so let's get on to it now the great thing is that no matter what device you have whether you are on Apple iOS or you have Android Google Play Store or Windows PC or Mac or whatever you have this app is available and you can download it for free. There is in-app subscription so you can gain access to all the features which I will show you all so that you can decide if you want to buy this as well. But I just thought I'd put it out there that please don't think that this is only limited to Samsung and Windows devices. Alright, so you can see here on my Tab S7 Plus that I have downloaded PDF Element and when I open it up, um, because this is not the first time I'm opening it, I had to first configure which folder I want to save my things in and which folder I want to scan PDFs from. So the folder that I chose was just downloads and that was just my default option and in that folder you can see that any PDF that I had downloaded has now come up and I can choose what I want to edit. Now going further, you can see up here in the top left hand corner that there's options to log in, you can look at your recent documents, you can look at favourites, you can open a document from a different folder, merge documents, um, you can also transfer through Wi-Fi and there's a ton of other settings that you can go and look into. Alright, so let's take a look at this medicine and surgery textbook and you can see that this is kind of how it opens up and it's quite nice, um, you know, I think this is what I would expect from any other um, PDF reader app as well, quite nice and clear, it's done, you know, the basic job. But really from here, I'm going to try and see what tools I have available and, you know, what kind of things I can do with this PDF and um, see if this app stands out. So if I just tap on my screen, you can see there's a few options that come up. And the first one up here is the save option. The second one is quite cool because it's like a contents page that opens up and you can see here that these are the different um, chapters of this textbook. So if I wanna go to cardiovascular system, it will take me to cardiovascular system as you can see right here. Now other options that we have is a search tool. So if I wanna search for, um, I don't know, chest pain like this, And if I search for that, you can see that every time chest pain has come up, it will show me it. So you can see here, there's 33 results. And you know, I can click maybe this one and it will show me that this is where that word came up. Now we actually have a few more options available to us up here in the top right hand corner. First of all, we can save as. So if I wanna save this document in a different folder from the one that I opened it up from, that's possible to do. Now, the other thing that we can see is this page option where we can see an overview of all of the pages in our document, which is quite nice to have. And I can go and navigate to whichever page uh, quite easily. Now, the other cool thing that we can do is this thing in read mode. Now, there's actually four read modes and right now we're on the vertical continuity mode. Now, the other option is vertical singular. Now, vertical singular will essentially lock it on the next page, if that makes sense. So if I scroll, it's going to lock to the bottom of that. Now, if I scroll again, it's locked there. It's locking there again and locking there again. Okay. Now, the other read only options that we have is a horizontal continuity. So you can see here that we can see, um, you know, all the pages in a horizontal view now. And the last option that we have is horizontal singular. And you can see here that we have everything kind of as single pages, but we navigate through them uh, in a horizontal fashion. All right, so let me show you some of the tools that we have um, available to us. So over here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see we have the circle with a little pen on it. And then we have a toolbar that opens up. Now, before I show you any of these tools, I want to highlight that these are all free. So I am not logged into my paid account 
time right now and these are features you can try out on your phone right now uh, so I think that's a brilliant thing this app has so much potential now let's take a look at the first tool here which is symbolized by a T now although that might seem like text um, you it's not about typing actually this is more about highlighting and you know that's very important in a PDF for your app so the first one here you can see um, if we long press it we can choose a color um, switch it back to just default yellow and this is to highlight um, you know very simply we are just highlighting um, things just like that now the next option that we have is to underline and you can underline things like that um, another option to actually cross something out if that's something you want to do and another one to do a squiggly line and the last one which I think is quite nice uh, is to actually um, highlight things but in like a box if that makes sense so if I want to highlight all of this then I'll put a box around it now the next feature which is symbolized by this little page is a Wondershare ID feature so that's something that I will show you guys but it's a paid feature so unfortunately not free so let's move on to the next one all right so let's move on to the classical pen feature then and here here, not a lot of options to choose from so maybe this is something that the app could work on but really you have a few colors to choose from again not a brilliant color palette um, but you know it does the job it's you've got your classic primary colors there so it's all good and um, you can choose the thickness and you can choose the transparency so I guess there's a few options there now the actual writing itself um, it's quite nice quite smooth um, not laggy at all and I think it works quite nicely now there's one feature in this app that that I've not seen on any other PDF reader app um, yet and that's something I want to show you guys so um one of the things that you can do over here is actually save like signatures so this option right here when you click it it's called um you know it's giving you a tip here and it says you do not create any customized pencil sample yet do you want to create it now and I'm going to click yes to this for now and over here, see, I want to insert something like um, HSTV, okay? Just as a, um, as a basic example, okay? Now here, I'm going to click the tick. And now, whenever I click this, it's going to, um, when, I, when, I, when I tap somewhere in that place, it's going to put in the signature. If I tap here, you know, it's quite big, but like you can see that it puts in HSTV like that. All right, moving swiftly on to the next feature we have is this shape feature. And over here, we have our classical square. We have a circle. Uh, we have a straight line. We have an arrow. All right, let's move to the next feature then, which is this little text boxy comment sign. So when I click on this, I can actually add comments throughout my PDF. So um, for example, um, so first of all, there's a few options that I can choose from uh, for the symbol so you know if I want um, to make a comment about something being correct I might just choose this tick and when I have this tick I'm gonna click the tick here uh, or tick tick it's all about ticks now isn't it um, and when I'm uh, choosing this I can just you know maybe like put a tick here and uh, maybe label this as correct for example okay um, now when I have that there you've got this thing here okay so I'm gonna click tick I'm off it now and this time um, you know when I click on this I, I have a few options first of all I can move it around wherever I want okay let's say I want it there now I have a few options to either copy delete copy the text etc but I want to open it and see what I wrote there that's what I wrote and that's great okay all right, moving into the next feature is this stamp. Now, this time we have a few stamps to choose from and they've just got a few, um, you know, default kind of ones, um, such as approved, final, initial here for comment, etc. Uh, ticks and crosses, right? So, um, you know, these are quite handy for, again, quite repetitive work if you want. So again, with approved, I don't know if I want to put an approved there. So, sorry, just click on that. And we have an approved, another approved another approved okay so stamps like that are um, quite nice quite handy I think and um, you know we can actually make these bigger smaller and actually move them around as well all right so just um, going back to the home page here I'm going to show you guys where you go to log in so up here at the top you can see this option for logging in now you can sign up or um, was with me at least I already have an account so um, I'm just gonna log in here and then come back to show you guys the paid features all right guys so I have now logged in now this is the paid version of the app and this is where 
things get pretty serious. Like up till now, yeah, there was a few quite unique features and, you know, for the ordinary person out there, you know, that's enough. But if you're really wanting to make the most out of this app, let me show you and let's go back to what this little page feature was about. Now, the first thing that you might have noticed is that here it's kind of put the text into blocks. So let's see what happens when I click on one of these boxes. I am able to change like pretty much everything about this and make this PDF mine. I can go ahead and change the font and you know, I have so many font options by the way. So let's uh, go ahead and change font to, um, I don't know, like this, okay. That looks pretty horrendous, let's do this, okay. Um, I've now changed the font, fantastic. Um, okay, I wanna change the color of this now, so let's go into color, I change all this to blue, great. And uh, let's just go up here for a second, and for this I wanna actually um, make all of this bold and italic. Now, that is something that I can't do on most apps. This is fantastic, this is so amazing. Like, I can't imagine that you would have this much potential on, on an app, on, a, on you know, on tablet. Um, really, really uh, fantastic to see here. And you know, here we have so many options. We can copy this text, and we can uh, put it somewhere else. Uh, we, can, um, we can actually get rid of it as well. I mean, that, that's uh, pretty cool. We've just gotten rid of that text. And um, of course, you know, if you didn't want to get rid of it, um, I don't know where the undo button has gone, but that would have been nice in case I accidentally delete something. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, like really, this is a uh, next level stuff that I didn't really imagine from an app like this, which has so many free features, right? All right, so that's the tablet version done. Let me show you guys what the PC version is capable of. And actually I have to say there's a lot more that the PC version can do than the tablet version. Um, regardless of that, we still have the option to sync because at the top here you can see that we have an option to log in. Um, now without logging in, I want to show you again what's available to you for free. So it's a free download from Wondershare's website. I Literally just downloaded it so um, I've not really tried much on this either now here you can see there's a few options that we've got we can open files now comparing PDFs um, we can choose um, one file to another and we can select files for that we can actually combine PDFs together um, we can also OCR PDFs now OCR is basically optical character recognition and we will go into that a little bit more. You can also convert something to a PDF. Now this is something that you're gonna have to buy a subscription for. So you can see here, um, you know, you will have a watermark on anything that you save if you're using trial version. So um, obviously um, I would recommend that you buy so that, um, you know, your work is original, right? Um, there's also no limit for document conversion. You can perform OCR text recognition on um, different types of documents. There's no page limit for batch data extraction. And, you know, um, there's like support filling for forms as well. So um, really, I do recommend that you go ahead and buy this um, app because there's just a lot of potential there that you would not be using if you used the free version. Having saying that, there's a lot you can do with the free version as well, which is also brilliant. Um, so, you know, we can create PDFs. Um, and we can also do batch PDF and we're gonna go through each one of these in turn so I can show you what you have but before that I'm going to sign in so that I can show you the full features all right, well, I am now logged in completely and we have access to the full features. And I just wanna show you guys what happens when we just open up a file. So here I'm gonna open up actually some lecture slides that I had um, from medical school this week. So you can see here, this is um, physiology of growth hormone secretion. All right, so um, here you can see, we can just scroll down and you know, we can see the PDF absolutely fine, but you know, you can do that on um, most apps and it kind of opens up. Now. Um, at the top here we have a few options so we can actually add text so if i want to um, add a little text box here and i don't know um say something like um important for exams something okay that's not how you spell exams brilliant all right exams um so over here you can see then i've added this 
bit of text and then I can just move this text around. Um, I can actually then change the colour of this text and I'll make it red and I will make it just a little bit, oop, I will make it a little bit bigger as well. Um, I have to say it's a little bit fiddly but I think that's just me being a bit stupid. So that, there we go, it's uh, very nice and big now, I uh, don't think I'll miss that. Um, so that's that um, and then I can, you know, I can add images if I want to. Um, I can also add links, um, yeah, like hyperlinks. Now there's also an option to add uh, a watermark to uh, the thing as well. So uh, you can see here I can actually edit watermark. Now this is actually saying that there's no watermark on this document. And remember, if you're on the free version, Wondershare will put a little watermark in the top here. So beware of that. Um, we can change the background, so we can uh, edit the background. Now it's actually saying there's no background in this document as well. Um, and you can add a header, a footer, there's loads of options. It's a bit like Microsoft Word, right? You have like all these different options that you can do. Um, now, uh, let's see, we've got convert tool. So now if we want to save this as a Word document, as an Excel sheet, as a PowerPoint, as an image or whatever, you know, we have loads of options there. In terms of other tools then, um, you know, we have a crop tool, you can compress the PDF, we can actually OCR an area, now again I'm going to go over OCR a little bit more later on, but essentially, you know, if I want to be able to edit like this piece of text right here, which I can't do right now, if I actually want to OCR then um, it will allow me to then, um, you know, be able to edit that text. So here you can see that it's gonna um, tell me which language I wanna do this in, and I'm saying um, English is fine. And then um, I'm gonna select like this bit right here. And then um, I'll say kind of recognize, and then it's gonna uh, do that. And now I can actually, you know, edit this um, piece right here, which is um, very handy and very easy to do as well. Um, so. I think um, it's, it's an incredibly useful feature and um, you know really um, brilliant for if you are editing PDFs. Um, now we also have a view option, so you know we have d d different types of views. You can have, you can zoom in and out, etc. And um, you know you, you've got loads of options there, so that's never an issue. So if I want to you know view four slides at one time, I can do that quite easily. Okay, so if I go back to the home page then here, first of all, you can notice that the recent document that I had open is now available here for easy access. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is to compare PDF. Now, this is really for if you have, um, you know, two of the same file, one that you have made changes to and you've edited. Now, I'm gonna show you it with two completely different files just to prove a point. So we're gonna do this file and I'm gonna do a completely different file, this one. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because it will actually show us all the differences. So, in red, it will show me all the deletions that I've made. In blue, it will show or purple it will show me the insertions that I've made and green will show me modifications. Alright, um, the next thing is um, to compress a PDF. Now really I think um, we all know what compress is, it's just to make the file size smaller. It's nice that they've got that feature in there, really when we click it it will ask me to choose my PDF document and we can save it as a smaller compressed file. Um, now I'm going to skip on to the OCR PDF feature because I think this is really uh, the cool thing about this uh, application. So when I click OCR PDF. I'm just going to go with the PowerPoint slide that we were using before. It's going to ask me to scan to editable text, scan to searchable text, um, etc. A few um, uh, you know settings there that we can choose from. And once I apply that, it will take a second just to process that so that all of the text and pictures and everything is editable um, within the um, PDF slide, which is, you know, really hard to do on a Word document, for example, or, you know, when you just have a PDF open in Adobe Reader. So I think that um, this is uh, really cool. All right, so we are now here and it has OCR'd our um, thing. And you can see here that um, that text that I added, um, by the way, is still there. Um, but now everything I can move around, um, you know, this is now my PDF document. Um, I can do whatever I want with it. I can, you know, go highlight this. I can get rid of all of this. Or if I want, I can, um, I don't know, make this bold and italic. So uh, really everything is now editable. 
All right, everyone, though, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed my review of Wondershare's PDF Elements PDF Reader app. And I hope that this has persuaded you to go and try it out as well. They're a fantastic company and really professional. Like, I've used a lot of Wondershare products, um, such as their editing softwares in the past, and I'm so glad that they've brought out this PDF Reader app as well. I think in this day and age with students and, you know, all kind of professionals, everything's going digital. So it's great that um, companies like Wondershare are releasing apps like uh, PDF Elements. So um, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this was useful and I will see you all in my next video. Do let me know down in the comments um, what you think of PDF Element and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.